Keegan. Three weeks after the departure of Messrs Thompson and Murphy, the former Blackpool boss Sam Allardyce has taken charge at Meadow Lane. His immediate task is to save the team from relegation. Uh, well, it's really it's an indefinite contract if he's successful. But at the moment, it's one and a half. The speech remains the same, the just the face has changed. Sam Allardyce is the latest in a long line of Notts County managers. Seven different management teams have taken charge of the club in two and a half years. The man responsible for hiring and firing makes no apologies. Managers stand and fall by their results. It's not Derek Pavis's law. It's the law in football. If you fail, you get replaced. Horrible industry, isn't it? With Allardyce at the helm, Blackpool were on the brink of the big time. Well, the nationwide first division last season. But like Notts, their promotion challenge fell away. Would now like Notts hope he can make it second time lucky and bring back the club's dwindling support. Well, I hope they get behind us from Saturday. Those uh, that, that voted with their feet uh, over the last few months, I hope they all get down to Meadow Lane on Saturday and support Sam, Mark Smith and the players and get behind us and hope they enjoy the type of football that I hope Sam produces. As a player with Bolton and Preston, Allardyce had an uncompromising reputation. With an 18-month contract and a four-month challenge to keep Notts County up, he'll need to draw on all of those resources now. And I'm glad to say that Sam Allardyce joins us live now on the programme. Sam, you've got a, a challenge ahead, four months to keep them up. How can you do it? Uh, a lot of hard work, I think, and uh, uh, instilling a little smile on the players' faces and uh, getting the confidence back, obviously. And really, I've just asked them to go out and give 100% for the, for the club and myself in, in the next four months. And, and since Mark's taken over, the, they've had reasonably good results. And I managed to get a peek at them at Wrexham. And, uh, you know, I was pleased and pleasant that, to see how well they played in that match. What's your management style then? Well, I think it's it's one of respect for the players, really. I mean, I think that they've they've got a difficult job. I mean, they they say they get paid lots and lots of money. I know, but you know, when they've got to go out there on a Saturday, they do feel the pressure, particularly at home, and particularly when when you're at the bottom of the table. So I'm going to take that pressure away from them and try and let them relax and really go out and show what they can do. They reckon there's a revolving door on the manager's office at Meadow Lane. There have been plenty <laughs> of managers in the last few years. You're very aware of that reputation that the chairman certainly has in the last couple of years. Um, I've had a, a number of meetings with the chairman and uh, um, I've gone on very well over the last uh, two or three meetings I've had with him. It was probably, I don't think anybody knows this, but it was a long period of time ago, maybe eight or nine years, that I actually were interviewed for the Notts County job, uh, I think before Neil Warnock got it. And uh, I remember him from those days and obviously I've followed the club since then. And he seems to have this reputation, but I find him that he, he perhaps shoot from the hip, but you'll get the answers that you want. You won't get any in the agendas. If you can do it, you can do it. If you can't, he says you can't. And I can't ask for any more than that. I just want his backing, build up a good relationship between me and him, me and Mark Smith to get on with the job and get on with the playing side and get the best out of the players. That's basically it. I'm sure if you keep them up, he'll be happy. Sam, thanks for joining us tonight. You're welcome. Now, down the A46, another press conference.